Hi, I'm Tina from Target Tamers, and today we're going to discuss a fundamental principle of binoculars. What do the numbers on binoculars mean? I'll help you to interpret it with a brief explanation, and I'll also give you comparison examples of multiple binoculars so that you can see the differences for yourself. Let's get started. What do the numbers mean? This is a very common but important question as most people are referring to the numbers that is part of the binocular model's name. It's two numbers separated by an X and is conveniently found on the focus knob on the binocular, although it can appear elsewhere on the binocular. These numbers are conveniently provided as part of the model name to immediately tell you how much magnification the binocular has and how big the objective lenses are. From left to right, the first number is the amount of magnification followed by an X. The second number is the size of the objective lenses. What does this first number mean and why is it important? Magnification. The first number immediately indicates the amount of magnification or power. Both terms are used interchangeably. Conveniently, the manufacturer displays this number first in the model name. Knowing how much magnification or power you have is usually the first thing you will want to know as it determines how magnified your view is, thus how much closer or how much larger your image appears to be. As examples, seven times binoculars magnify the view seven times, eight times binoculars magnify the view eight times, and 10 times binoculars magnify the view 10 times, and so on. Is more magnification always better? Well, low magnification of six to eight times is great for close range observation, and they're very easy to use. However, High magnification binoculars should be tripod mounted as the smallest vibrations and hand tremors will affect the quality of viewing through the binoculars. Eight times and 10 times binoculars are highly recommended for their great balance between handheld use and general purpose applications like backpacking, hunting, bird watching, and wildlife observation. Can binoculars zoom in? Most binoculars are fixed power binoculars, which means they do not zoom in or out as they only offer magnification at one setting. However, there are a few zoom binoculars with variable magnification that allow you to zoom in and out. You can tell by the two numbers separated by a dash and of course, followed by an X. Take for example, these Nikon Action 10 to 22 by 50 binoculars. They can be convenient and easy to use for recreational applications. You can zoom in and out within the given range, and these have a range of 10 times magnification to 22 times magnification. Objective lens size. The second number after the X is the aperture, the diameter of the objective lens. Now the objective lenses are the large pieces of glass where light enters the binoculars. The aperture is measured in millimeters. This number references only one objective lens, not the combined apertures of both. However, both are the exact same size. This number is important because the larger the number, the more light can enter the binoculars. This equates to having a bright glassing or seeing experience when using them. This is usually more noticeable in dim conditions when you're in the woods or if you're glassing in low light or adverse conditions. Is a bigger objective lens better? While well, the larger the objective lens is, the larger the binocular. Bigger binoculars with objective lenses larger than 50 millimeters are best suited to tripod mounting and have noticeable low light performance strengths. This can be incorporated into some hunting styles and for amateur astronomy. 42 millimeter objective lenses are a recommended size for all purpose applications. By now, you can immediately recognize and interpret the numbers on a binocular. It's a magnification with an X followed by the size of the objective lens. But this isn't where the story on the numbers ends. Check out the full write-up for a brief explanation on field of view, exit pupil, size and weight, and why glass matters. Thanks for tuning in, and if you learned something, give us a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. And of course, take a moment to get outside.